The second generation IS was equipped with a 2.5 liter V shaped gasoline engine, with a capacity of 208 horsepower, which was aggregated with a six speed automatic transmission with the possibility of manual shifting. There were also versions with 3.5 liter engines that developed 318 horsepower and were equipped with the same six speed automatic transmission. They put them on the Lexus IS 350, produced in parallel with the 250th version. In addition to gasoline, diesel turbocharged versions, 2.2 liters, 177 horsepower, were also produced. IS Key, running on heavy fuel, had a mechanical six speed gearbox. But, unfortunately, those were not supplied to Russia, so it is problematic to find a car with such an engine in our market. For those to whom the V6 is not enough, there is a charged version of the ISF with a 5 liter V8 with a capacity of 423 horsepower. However, this version, like the previous one, was not particularly popular. The IS250 was launched for sale in the Japanese market in the spring of 2009, and the car had two body versions, a sedan and a convertible coupe. In Russia, sales started a year and a half later. At the same time, as part of the restyling, the sedan and coupe cabriolet received new headlights, the design of the rear brake lights changed. The radiator grille has also changed, new alloy wheels have been installed. In addition, the developers have improved handling due to stiffer anti-roll bars, new shock absorbers and springs. Gasoline engines have not changed much. They did not add or lose power, but they began to meet the harsh Euro 5 environmental standard. The diesel engine range lost the 177 horsepower 2.2 liter version, and a 2 liter engine with 150 HP took its place. However, the IS250 is still the most common on the Russian market, and it is better to know about its whims during operation in advance. The motor, with proper care, is quite reliable and hardy. It is advisable to carry out such a procedure as an oil change every 10 to 15,000 kilometers. It should be noted that for a favorable engine operation, you should not constantly drive at low and medium speeds. Otherwise, three and four cylinders may not reach normal temperature conditions. Timely diagnosis can prevent these problems. Otherwise, costly repairs will be inevitable. A short-term unpleasant sound during a cold start of a car can also make itself known by the VVT clutch. Moreover, the moment of occurrence of this noise is completely different for everyone. There were cases when, in an attempt to solve the problem, the owners changed the chain tensioners, but they did not manage to get rid of the noise. The source of the whim lies in the design of the engine itself, namely, in the discrepancy between the operation of the oil pump and the VVT pulleys themselves at the time of starting the engine. Therefore, after replacing the couplings, the sore in 50% of cases returned after about 1 to 5,000 kilometers. If this feature appears only when the engine is started, then it does not bear any negative consequences. In cases where the unpleasant sound did not disappear after warming up, the replacement of the couplings was mandatory. One of the childish sores is the frequent turning on of the fan, even in cold weather. The disease is really childish, because it is eliminated by a simple steam wash. The most important thing is to carefully clean the gap between the radiators, as they are too close to each other. The procedure is inexpensive and takes little time. Owners who are aware of this feature repeat a similar procedure every season. The normal life of an automatic transmission with proper care is approximately 200,000 kilometers. Experienced owners advise changing the oil every 30 to 40,000 kilometers, depending on the driving style. On some cars, there were cases of sluggish acceleration due to automatic transmission, while the check engine lamp on the instrument panel did not light up. If such an indication is still available, then after mashing it, the unit returns to normal operation. Most often, such an incident occurs due to the negligence or inattention of the driver. The chassis of the IS250, with its ambiguity, works for a solid 4. The sport's short-stroke suspension works out the pits as expected, without causing inconvenience to the driver and passengers. At the same time, when driving such a car, you should not get involved in reckless driving on Russian potholes. First of all, the notorious bushings and struts of anti-roll bars suffer here which can wear out already by 50,000 kilometers. The remaining elements are able to depart twice as much. The IS steering rack cannot be tightened, so the appearance of the first knocks will mean the need to replace it in the near future. Fortunately, there are not many complaints from the owners regarding this part, because the cost of the original node can be shocking. 
Brake pads and discs have to be changed almost simultaneously after about 30 to 40,000 kilometers. There have been cases when especially daring drivers managed to wash the kit even for 10,000 kilometers. The problem of modern car paintwork has not bypassed the Lexus IS. Due to the use of environmentally friendly materials, the coating is quite soft, which makes it easy to chip or scratch. In addition to this, it is worth noting the fragile windshield. If you operate the car mainly outside the city, then chips and cracks cannot be avoided. Inside, by and large, nothing breaks. But one unpleasant moment was noted by many owners. So, even on short runs, the front panel can sound with the heartbreaking creak, which should be soundproofed with silicone grease or partial sizing. There is surprisingly little space in the cabin, especially in the back. Say, passengers with the height of 190 centimeters or more will rest their knees on the backs of the front seats. But the driver has plenty of space. Noise isolation is done, as they say, on the conscience. The sound of the engine can only be heard at high speeds. There are very few complaints about electronics. Sensors, cameras, and electric drives do not require attention to themselves. Summing up, we can see that we have an outwardly attractive, dynamic, comfortable car with a fairly inexpensive service. Prices for spare parts for the premium segment are very moderate, so young people with average earnings will be able to support their pet without any problems.